Here are some notes on how an arterial waveform will change as you go from central arteries to peripheral arteries. There are structural differences between more proximal and more distal arteries that will cause waveform changes. For instance, the aorta has a very high compliance. It effectively dampens pulsatile flow. When you get to the periphery, like radial arteries, they tend to have lower compliance and they have less dampening because of that, less, less dampening of that pulsatile flow. They also have a higher distal resistance, which can create retrograde pressure waves. So as the artery gets smaller in diameter, it's a smaller area for the blood to flow through, and you have a higher distal resistance, which can re create a retrograde, a backward-facing pressure wave that kind of bounces back on the oncoming blood. These structural changes trigger a cascade of waveform changes. Retrograde and forward waves sum together. So because you have that higher resistance in the periphery, in the distal arteries, the retrograde waves are going to add to those forward waves of blood and cause wave summation, which lead to three major changes. Your systolic pressure as you go more distal will be higher. Your diastolic pressure as you go more distal will be lower. And your pulse pressure will therefore widen. Your pulse pressure is your systolic minus your diastolic, and that will be bigger in the periphery compared to your central arteries. There are some additional changes. Your mean arterial pressure will gradually decrease. It's not shown here, but maybe it's around 100 for this artery and then maybe down to 80 or 90, uh, actually probably more like 90, 95 in this artery down here. Uh, that's necessary for forward blood flow. You have to have a pressure gradient for the blood to get from the heart to everywhere else in the body. The dichrotic notch becomes delayed and less prominent. It's not really shown well here, but the dichrotic notch is usually a little bump in the middle here that's due to the aortic valve closing. As you get further away from the aortic valve, that dichrotic notch is going to be delayed and less prominent. Some special considerations, in patients that are elderly or patients that have atherosclerosis, they'll have stiffer arteries and all of these changes become more pronounced.